Hello everyone, if you have failed to install the native Google GMS on Huawei mobile phones, then you can try this method today. The method I will share with you today is to use the virtual Android to install the Google GMS. Its advantage is that it is simple to operate and very easy to succeed. It is suitable for all Huawei mobile phones and tablets, including Harmony OS 2, EMUI 12, and EMUI 11 international version. The user experience is is also very good. Okay, let's move to my Huawei mobile phones and take a look. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei mobile phone. First, let's check my settings. Settings and go to system and update to take a look of the software version. Currently, I'm using the Harmony OS uh, 2.0 version, the latest version. And if you and uh, if you are using the EMUI 12, EMUI 11 international version, this solution is also works for this uh, your international version of EMUI 12 and EMUI 11, and which also compatible with like Magic UI. This uh, the previous version of uh, Honor's uh, Honor's mobile my phones okay so I'm using the virtual Android here I'm already installed the virtual Android this application using this application to use all the Google's applications including the Google YouTube uh, Chrome I will show you I open this virtual Android you can see there's uh, those um, Google Maps Gmail YouTube Play Store and Chrome they are all in this uh, application so you can use it into this uh, virtual Android I will click the Play Store you can see you can use in Play Store and search for those uh, applications and to install these applications in the uh, uh, Play Store. And I already installed the Google Maps. You can see I can open the maps and uh, the functions is all available for you to navigation and uh, to check your uh, maps of your local maps. And uh, the Gmail here, the Gmail also it works for your to receive your Gmail and uh, send email by the Gmail. And also it works for the U YouTube here. Click the YouTube. Uh, yes, it can play uh, and it is a very good benefit. A function is it can play in the background here. So I already uh, closed my screen. So you can still here yeah you can it can play in the background so it can save more batteries uh, for you if you want to only want to uh, hear the uh, sound of your videos this is very good solutions if you want to just uh, make it play in the background here and a special father's day weekend spotlight npr scott simon yeah it's perfect for the play in the background Okay, so this is YouTube and the Chrome also works perfect in, in this uh, virtual Android here. Virtual Android. And uh, if you want to close it, there's a bubble here. Click this bubble and uh, shut down this uh, virtual Android here. You can shut down it. Shut down. So after you shut down, you open this virtual Android like this. So shortcut can take you directly to the to the application you want to open. For example, if you will open the YouTube directly, you just click it. You want to open the Google Play Store directly, you can click the Google Play Store. Yeah, you can see the Play Store can be opened directly from the uh, shortcut here. So this is a virtual Android. So it's very easy to use. I think, think the user experience is also very, very good. Okay, now I show you how to install this virtual Android onto your phone. First, uh, I will uninstall it, delete it, uninstall it. It's very easy to uninstall it. So everything is gone for, for the uh, Google's all those applications. So next, we will go to the browser, open this internal browser in Huawei mobile phone, open the browser, and I will also uh, copy and paste this uh, web link down below this video description so you can click this uh, link to directly visit this website to download this virtual Android here. Virtual Android, this is uh, used can be used for uh, to use all Google's applications. This is uh, some instructions and uh, manual. Use the manual. You can read about these manuals, how to use it. Up, up, and click this um, button. Download the APK. The APK is not very, very big. Only 5.5 .5 megabyte. We click it to download this uh, virtual Android. This APK. Okay. We click download. Okay. Okay, the download is complete. After the complete of download, then we go back to the desktop. 
Then we click the file to go to the folder, go to file and go to phone here, yeah, go to the phone and go to the download this folder, download folder and go to the browser folder again, go to the browser folder. So you can see the virtual Android, this uh, virtual Android APK already downloaded. Then we click this APK, click this virtual download, uh, virtual Android APK. After you click it, you will see the menu here and you will need to click the app. APP, click this APP, click the APP and choose the app gallery, this first one, the Huawei app gallery and click just once, click this just once and then we will use this uh, Huawei's app gallery to install this uh, app, click OK and now we will install this uh, virtual Android, click here, click allow and click install here to install this uh, virtual Android. Okay, after you finished the uh, installation, then we go back to our desktop. You will see the virtual Android already installed. Then we click it to open the virtual Android. And it will give you an uh, instruction of make sure to download the resource package in order to use a virtual Android normally and I need to download uh, around 600 megabytes. So you need to use your Wi-Fi to check your Wi-Fi is connected Wi-Fi is connected because this uh, resource file is uh, very big, so around 600 megabytes. So I click confirm to download its uh, resource file. Just to wait several several uh, minutes. Uh, it's depending on your internet download speed. To um, to be patient after, when it finished the uh, downloading of this uh, resource file. Okay, uh, for me it cost me around uh, five minutes to finish the download of this resource file. Now it is extracting and allow only while in use, click that and allow, click allow and allow only while in use, click that one. So now you can see I can click the start button to start the virtual Android. Okay, click start, then installation don't use any LT data. So this is installation, so you can make sure link to your uh, open uh, connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, 100% finished installation, then we will uh, start the uh, virtual Android. Okay, so now you can see now we are already in this uh, virtual Android application. This is my real phone here and this is virtual Android. Then we go to the drawer here, go to the drawer and you can see the Play Store is already there. You can move this uh, Play Store onto your desktop here, then you can open the Play Store and sign in your Google account. Click sign in, it's very easy. Okay, then key in your Google account, Gmail account. Okay, after keying in your Google account, then click next. Then key in your uh, account password, then click next. Click I agree. Then click switch off the backup to Google, switch off and Click accept. Okay, yeah, you can see the Google's uh, applications store is already here. Then you can uh, search for the YouTube to install all the applications you want into this uh, virtual Android. Click install. Okay, so we finished uh, the installation of the YouTube. Then we go back to our desktop here and you will find this uh, YouTube in the drawer, so you can uh, drag this uh, YouTube into the uh, desktop. Then you can open the YouTube directly here. You can open the in YouTube to see the favorite videos of your uh, your, your like. Okay, so this is YouTube, and you can uh, switch off this uh, virtual Android shut down it shut down shut down, and you can add your icons here. You can uh, add icon directly from this uh, virtual Android and you can click it to open the YouTube directly from the shortcut and here add a quick link, add a quick icon here, click it and you can add a quick icon of the Google Play Store here. So it is very easy for you to uh, directly open the Google Play Store and the YouTube through this uh, shortcut add. This function I think is very useful for you to do that. Okay, so if you like my sharing, don't forget to sum up and see you next time. Bye-bye.